One moment, Richard Humble was riding in a car with his best friend, FIU student Alexa Duran. The next, he was trapped under twisted metal, crushed by the brand new pedestrian bridge. And tonight, he's sharing his story of survival. Here's CBS 4's Gary Nelson. 18 days after the under construction, FIU pedestrian bridge came crashing down on Southwest 8th Street, killing six, injuring nine. 19-year-old FIU student Richard Humble announced a lawsuit against seven companies involved in the design and construction of the span. I mean, I heard it first, and I looked up, and uh, it was awful because I, I, I just saw the bridge like, coming down on top of us. Humble was a passenger in the car of his best friend, 18-year-old Alexa Duran, a fellow student who was killed. She was driving him back from a doctor's appointment. She, she was like just a, the brightest light in my life. His soulmate, he said. He called to her over and over. Uh, I looked back at Alexa a couple of times, and um, she wasn't saying anything. and. Uh, I had like her blood on me and I didn't really like know what to do and uh, she just wasn't moving. Humble suffered neck and other injuries. The lawsuit will focus on alleged negligence and why the companies who knew of cracks in the bridge didn't close busy 8th Street as they tightened steel rods on the cracked end. Did anybody ever raise their voice and say, please shut down the traffic uh, while we're inspecting this? That's just a reasonable, logical thing to do. Humble's parents says he's had hysterical breakdowns since the tragedy. He's a 19-year-old that cannot take a shower without screaming, crying. I've had to go in and get him out of the shower. Humble says he has flashbacks and the disaster hasn't left his mind. I think about it every time I say I drive under something like that. And uh, it's scary sometimes. Scary for those who experienced it and those who've watched the colossal 950 ton failure. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Hmm. Meanwhile, Alexa Duran's family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against MCM, Fig Engineering, and seven other subcontractors associated with the project. The Duran family attorney, Alan Goldfarb, said the companies were negligent and reckless and failed to protect Alexa and the other victims. The family plans to speak publicly tomorrow morning for the first time since filing the suit.